going to meet up with Demetrios. He was the, one, the skateboarder guy from the video a couple days ago. He's going to give us a guided tour of an abandoned international airport in Athens. Apparently this uh, abandoned airport we're going now is, uh, has been sold a year now but due to the crisis with the refugees and everything that had been settled there there wasn't anything going on like with so they're, the not, they're not building. starting until they can yeah 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 until they settle up with the, the, the refugees or? yeah the refugees it's destined to be a, a hotel complex with parks and everything and maybe casinos yeah and a big park but right now it's empty and we can just go there? Yeah. Wow. Now we're going to the old airport's ent entrance. Yeah. Which is uh, from the, to the seaside almost. And uh, this is where uh, all the refugees had come. Uh, oh, wow. Somewhere around there. But the abandoned airplanes are on the other side of the airport, up, uh, and up, up north. But uh, the entrance, the the entrance of the of the north, the north entrance is closed. That's why we can't go. Ah, uh, interesting. Pretty relevant. So we're at the front of the airport right now, and I, it, I guess. The front. This is the front. Yeah, the front right here. Yes. Yeah. There's a bunch of refugees. Oh wow, no, there's people in the building and everything. But this is not official? Uh, it's one area to leave some refugees. Yeah. To find, if you, if, the, if uh, they find uh, a place for other camps, we'll move it. Is this the way we have to get in? Uh, for, if you want, you go to be inside? Yeah. You have to be way. Oh wow. But uh, that's the moment to see. If we want to go inside and take photos and everything, we need we to, to call them. contact them. Yeah. yeah, to say that we we. Will that take honest. a long time? Uh, θα πάρει και θα πάρει ώρα ε, για αυτό το δεν πράγμα. νομίζω να πάρει πολύ χρόνο. Oh. Αν είναι να δοθεί άδεια, θα δοθεί. Μπορεί και την επόμενη μέρα να έρθετε, καταλάβατε. Uh, uh, she says no, but maybe it will take a day. All right, so let's, let's recap real quick. We're at an abandoned airport in Greece that was sold about a year ago, but is, it's now a refugee camp. And the, what was the security guard saying basically that we have to get permission to go in because it's it's basically a camp now? Uh, yeah, due to the situation right now, you're not allowed to just go and wander inside. Let's go in this uh, lot here, yeah. Yeah. This is a refugee camp now. We started filming, started flying the drone, and immediately a bunch of kids ran out. And they, they really want our skateboards. <laughs> officially entered the airport. We're inside, we had to put the cameras down because there was a checkpoint and we didn't want to piss anybody off. But 
check it out. Just huge open airport space. <laughs> it's massive. And these buildings are being used as refugee camps. In fact, there's tents set up. So it's not entirely abandoned anymore. There's a police checkpoint, there's buses coming here, there's people living here. We met a bunch of little kids who very, very much wanted our skateboards. And now we're gonna go inside, have a look around. to meet with the manager and now we're gonna wait here for the person who is overseeing the camp to come. Maybe we'll be able to talk to them about what's going on but I suppose there's always a possibility they tell us to get out of here. I said we want to inter to talk to you and she said okay two minutes. Cool. She said we need the permission to be here. She gave us uh, an email that we need to contact uh, the ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we, we basically got the boot as yeah, soon as we, they were like, uh-oh, journalists are here, you better, you can't, you gotta email and get permission, but you can't be here. And that's what I figured would happen, but I don't think we're gonna leave just yet. Let's, I don't know, we'll, let's, let's see what we can find. Yeah. So what did, what did that sign say about food? Uh, there was a notice on the door that said, that food will be distributed normally, which makes me wonder. It was in English. Yeah, it was in English, which makes me wonder if that's something they have to update because it was handwritten. Oh wow. So. But I wonder what it means to distribute normally. Yeah. What is what is abnormal? Do they do it mathematically or something or alphabetically? Well, I mean, who knows? The, the assumption is that, you know, they distribute food at half or like there's yeah, not enough food or something. Or something. Right. Yeah. Okay. But we just don't know. We what, what I will say is. You know, they, they told us, come back with permission, you know, here's the email, and, you know, it's it's always a bummer when journalists can't get access and you have to get pre-approved access, because then you know and they, they start cleaning things up. Yeah, exactly. They start cleaning things up and making things look better than they actually are. So some guards just rolled up on us and uh, we are sneaking out the other direction. Hopefully they don't see us. We're making our way out of the airport and refugee camp because there's still other parts of the camp in front and we want to try and meet somebody, see if someone could speak English and talk to us about how they got here, what's it like at the airport, what's it like being a refugee in an abandoned location here in Greece. What was your name again, man? Sam. 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 Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here is, uh, we are about uh, one year and two months we are in here and here is uh, it's not a good uh, place which we live in and uh, all of the people uh, which uh, live in here is inside of the tents and we don't have a good situation here. No? It's, no. It's so you, you have been here for a year and, and yes, two months? Yes, you said? yeah. Exactly. Is, there, is there enough food? Is it warm? You know? 
it's not just uh, about the food it's uh, the situation which we cannot live in here uh, we are human we cannot uh, live in, in uh, a tent uh, for one year how can we live in here if uh, you can uh, go to inside which see these people it's like uh, it's how can i say you it's not uh, a place which a human live it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, they all want. Uh, we want to go into uh, a way which you, like uh, German and other country. And here is not a, a good uh, place which we live it in yeah. here. Here is not uh, like myself. I try to go into a school. I cannot go to a school. Uh, I told to the manager of the camp which I want go into a school. She told me I cannot help you. How can I stay in here which I cannot go to this? What country are you from? Afghanistan. And she says I'm alone here and my uh, uh, daughter and my son is in uh, the German. We want to go there. How, we, are, we are about the fun years in here. We cannot go there. Why can't you go there? Yes. Why, why can't you go to Germany? I don't know. Uh, we cannot go because the border all closed. We cannot go. Who uh, yeah. uh, My exactly. She is my mother, and my sister is uh, there. She is allowed. She is also underage. Uh, uh, yes, she is uh, for that. She won't go wait. To so your your sister is underage, and she was yes. allowed to go to Germany. Yes. But yes. is she by herself? Uh, no, no. It's mad yeah. How old are you? 14 years. 14? Oh yeah, man, I thought you were older. Years. You came from Afghanistan? Yes, yes. By a smuggler. Smuggler? Uh, going to uh, uh, Iran, then uh, Turkey, and then here. Oh wow. So you, you left Afghanistan two years ago? Yes. Oh wow. Not years, one year. One about, year ago? Yes. One year and five months. Oh, okay. About that, yes. Did you, did you come by train or you came by boat from Turkey? No, no, by uh, the sh uh, ships. I'm going to uh, uh, for the learning, for listening. I want to uh, do on that things which I cannot uh, do in Afghanistan. Like I cannot act, do. I want to be a good footballer in Afghanistan, and uh, and I wish, I hope to uh, be a footballer. And if I go to where in Alman, German, I want to be a footballer. In here, yes, yes, uh, there is a park which every day we are going to football. Now I uh, find a school which I can go there by myself. I found it and I uh, going to school also. So you, you, start, yes. you started going to school? Yes, now? Uh, about one month and one week I going to school. I know I found it. This. If you were able to stay in Greece as a refugee, get a house, find a job, would you stay here? Or would you try and go somewhere else? If we, uh, I can uh, able which I can work in, and it's uh, like uh, if I can to do that thing which I want to do, if I I say, and uh, my brother and my sister is in German, I have to go there. Yes. Do you think you'll make it? Yes. Do you think you'll make it to Germany? Yes, I hope. Yeah. We had to move because someone came out and said filming there was a problem, so we came over here. They gave us gum. So that was a young kid. He said he was 14. He's been here for about a year. And smugglers brought his sister and his brother into Germany. But now he's stuck here. He can't work. But he did say he was able to find a school he can go to. So, you know, this is definitely not a place human beings should be living. No matter what you think. This is not a place for people to live. taking off now I I wanted to talk to more people but it's it's difficult a lot of people are on edge it's a really I mean this place is, is disgusting and it's 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 hard to see what kind of situation they have people living in certainly it's not a place people should be living no matter what you think but I'm, I'm glad we got to speak to someone who is young because we typically speak to older folks and you know to hear from a kid about what it's like being here is particularly interesting and yes his mom was there, she gave him permission to speak, it's all cool for anybody who's wondering. We're leaving now because we've got to catch a boat. This is a boat that's going to bring us to Mytilene, the front line. This is the town where all the refugees from Turkey are coming in. They leave the port from Izmir, a town in Turkey, and they head into Greece. We have an overnight boat ride that's going to bring us to this island by morning. We're going to check out the camps, 
and see what's really happening. So make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TimCast. Click the like button because it really helps. Comment below, let me know what you think. Subscribe for more videos every single day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you really do like my content, please go to patreon.com forward slash TimCast and consider giving whatever you can. I'll see you all tomorrow.